you didn't stay at Hideaway. Uh, you ventured out. Yeah. So whenever I first started doing this, you know, I went to the Hideaway first and I'm like, man, I really love booking these shows. It's a lot of fun. At the Hideaway. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, man, it would be really cool if uh, we did this more on the North Shore. And uh, I went to about every music venue between Slidell and Hammond, everywhere in between. How many are we talking? <sighs> about 20. Mm -hmm. About 20. Uh, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. But, uh, and whatever I mean, I went to these places. I went, I, I didn't just, you know, send them like a Facebook message. Like, I went to these places. Sure. And, hey, here's my business card. You know, I understand you don't know me from Adam, <clears throat> but, you know, give me a chance to see what we can do. Everywhere turned their nose at me, slammed the door in my face. They didn't want to work with me. I get it, you know. You know who I am. Sure. You know, a lot of these places, they have their in house people already. But uh, after that, I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'm all in on this place. <laughs> and uh, I've been all in with them ever since. And I, I don't regret it, man. I never looked back. Yeah. And uh, I think now if, you know, one of these places that originally turned their nose to me came back and said, well, man, we've been seeing what you're doing for this place. You know, maybe, maybe we could do something. I'd probably tell them no. I'm like, sorry, they take really good care of me here. I'm all in over yeah. here. So what was what sparked uh, the idea for um, your own promotional company? Well, I did the one show. It went well. And I'm like, man, I loved this. I loved everything about it. I can't remember the last time before that that I did something that just brought me so much joy. E everything from... You know, booking the bands to doing the flyers to all the online promotion and the ads and everything. I just fell in love with the whole process. I'm like, this is so much fun. Like, it, you know, it's work, but it doesn't feel like work. It's like sure. they say, you know, do what you love. You never work a day in your life. Yeah. And uh, from there, I'm like, you know what? You know, let, let's, you know, let's see. Maybe I can make a little bit of side money off this. You know, and me, I'm very technical. I like to do everything by the book. You know, I don't skirt any of the rules. Uh, so I'm like, okay, you know, I mean, turn this in, you know, let's, let's register it as an LLC and, uh, you know, just see what happens. And things kept happening and, you know, the more doors opened, I found more avenues of stuff that I like even more. And uh, it's kind of brought us to where we are today. Yeah. Tell everybody what you're doing today because, um, I mean, I'm excited for you, you know. I've, I've heard a little bit. Uh, let everybody know what's happening. Yeah, we're very excited. Um, <clears throat> earlier, it was on the 21st, I think that was last Monday, if not mistake, we finally, we let the cat out of the bag. I've been working on this for the past three, four months, behind the scenes, making sure that everything is in place before we announce it publicly. But I've gotten everything in place, and uh, we have officially taken Fuel the Funeral promotions and entertainment to fuel the funeral entertainment and we are a fully operating booking agency with a list of developmental services and pr and promotional services from bands um, the only thing we don't do is we do not personally manage a band we manage them as their booking agent but as you know to say i am this band's manager we don't do that. That's mm -hmm. the only thing. But if you come to us, you need booking representation. We can do that. You need, uh, you know, a PR run, ad expertise. We can do that. You need promotional materials mated. We can do that. You need a website made. We do it. EPK one sheet made. We do it. Try and offer as much as possible. Sure. And uh, you know, the services are growing by the day because as we learn to do more and more things we can start offering them to people yeah that's fantastic man uh, i've enjoyed in my own ventures um multitasking because it's a creative outlet on so many different levels yeah you're, you're doing one thing over here this day and then the next day you're doing something different it just kind of the variety keeps keeps that flame going you know what i'm saying yeah it's a lot of uh it's a lot of moving parts it's a lot of work man you know it, in those three, four months of working behind the scenes, I mean, it was a lot of nights. You know, you work until two, three in the morning behind your computer, making sure that it's done the right way. So I don't want to approach these bands and say, hey, 
let me give you booking representation if I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Sure. There's enough thieves out there. I don't want to be another one of them. Sure. And that's what really led me to starting this venture. You know, like a, it was about maybe eight, nine months ago, I was picked up by a uh, newer up and coming um, management firm that also did a little bit of side booking. They wanted me to be a booking agent. And I was giddy about it. I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be so cool. They have a really cool roster. You know, I'm, I'm really excited to be working with these guys. And I uh, started working for them. And I just started noticing some things. You know, I don't wanna name names or anything like that, but their some of their business practices were a little less than reputable. Uh -huh. And I uh, took a look and I'm like, this doesn't feel right. Like we're taking these bands money we're not doing very much for them. Like, Ooh. how are we justifying this? And I uh, just took a big step back. I'm like, I don't want to do this. This this feels wrong. I left that company, and after I left that company, I'm like, you know what? I was really excited to be booking for these bands. I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to do it for myself now. Yeah. That way, at least, because, you know, there's, you know, it's not just this one company. Any small mm -hmm. band will tell you, <clears throat> There's a lot of crooks out there. There's a lot of people interested in lining their pockets at the band's expenses. Sure. You know, whether it's, uh, hey, you know, you know, sign with me and pay me a retainer every month. I'll be your manager. They don't do anything for you. Yeah. Or, uh, man, you know, give me X amount a month and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do all this for And then they don't do anything for you. Yeah. And, you know, whenever you're a small band, you know, if you're paying your manager $1,000 a month, Hurts. That's that's a lot of money, man. These are that's not you know the, that's not coming from their merch table. That's coming from their day job paychecks. Yeah, that they're paying you, and you know to know that they're getting ripped off. I mean, dude, that hurts. Yeah, that hurts, and that makes them so apprehensive to want to work with anyone else. Sure. I always tell every artist, even the ones that I sign with every contract that I give my own bands, I'm like take this go to an entertainment lawyer i know it's gonna cost some money i'm not telling you i'm a crook or anything but don't just take my word for it you know mm -hmm. go to an entertainment lawyer go to other people that you may have known that have you know been through a similar process have them look it over make sure that this contract that i'm giving you is absolutely in your best interest sure because i want you to be a hundred percent confident that i'm in this for your best interest sure uh i wouldn't be surprised if honesty is the best bait out there right now you know what i mean <laughs> yeah you know there's been a lot of bands that uh i've had a lot uh approach me because you know i've been working on this long before we announced it you know i've got three bands signed to my roster they were all signed before we announced anything mm -hmm. you know um and there were dozens more that i sat down and had discussions and interviews with that were interested in booking with me. And uh, you have to be transparent. You know, I've, I've had some bands say, well, look, this is what we're looking to do. We would really like to get on all the big national festivals. We'd like to jump on some of these bigger, high profile tours. And I said, man, that's awesome. I'm not your guy. I'm still very new at this. I'm not uh, you know, 30 year seasoned agent that can pick up my phone and make things happen in a day. I said, you know, if, if you guys want to go do these big things, that's awesome. I love that you have these big goals, but I'm just not the right fit for you. And, you know, it lost a lot of bands, but they appreciate the honesty, sure. you know, and you might be at that point of certain time in your career and yeah. they're not going to forget you you know yeah. i hope to be at that point i'm definitely not going to stop until i am at that point sure that's the but right now you know i'm still very new at this i know i think it's important to know what your capabilities and your limitations are and be very very honest about it don't try and flub anything yeah don't try and um you know don't try to embellish anything like that mm. like i know what i can do i'm very confident at what i can do and i know what i can't do and if you come to me and you ask for something that i know that i can't do you know i i just cannot take your money knowing i cannot yeah. do this for you i just i can't do that 
And it's scary. There's so many people out there that can do that. Sure. Yeah, sleep well at night. Right? Mm-hmm. What um, are you, uh, I would guess not, but are you um, strictly dealing in a, a certain genre? Or are you looking for bands in different genres intentionally? Well, you know, I like rock and metal. That's, you know, my bread and butter. <clears throat> That's what I cut my teeth on. It's what I know best. Uh, but, you know, if a country guy came to me, I'm not going to, you know, turn him away. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd give him the same treatment. I give every other band. Every band that goes to my website and sends in an artist submission or they reach out to our Facebook or our email, you know, I give them all the same uh, courtesy that they gave me because they took time out of their day to go and look up my company and see who we are and what we're about and submit themselves and yeah. we really appreciate that they don't have to do that yeah there's a lot more companies out there that do what I do there's a lot more that are better than I am yeah they don't have to look at me sure and I appreciate that they <clears throat> do so they're giving me the courtesy to reach out I'm going to give them the courtesy to actually look at their material. You know, I'm going to look them up on Spotify. I'm going to listen to the, at least their top songs on there. Sure. I'm going to look at their Facebook. You know, I'm going to look at their Instagram. I'm going to look at their show history. And, uh, you know, not just be like, oh, wow, this band's pretty small. You know, I don't ignore any emails that come my way. If you email me, it might take a day or two. You know, I stay pretty busy. But I get back to absolutely everyone. Yeah. You know, I appreciate that they're considering me to begin with. Yeah. Well, that's good, man. I I, I wish you all the best. I'm, I'm sure it's uh, the initial phase is always the most exciting. You oh, know? yeah. And then there's kind of a, uh, I guess, uh, coming to uh, realization phase where you realize how big this is or how much you're in charge of, you know? Right. And, um, you know, hopefully that, that happy medium sets in right about there for you, you know? Yeah, it's very humbling, <clears throat> you know, to know that these bands are, cause, you know, they're booking, that is the biggest part of their career. And all the bands that are serious about it, they view their band as a business. And that's what it is. Sure. You know? Absolutely. And uh, to be able to know that these bands trust me with their booking that is so incredibly humbling you right know, it's, I, I feel honored you sure. know it doesn't matter if you know they could be a um you know world touring platinum artist or they could be you know just some band looking to get around their local you know region it's all the same you know it's so humbling to know that these guys trust me and uh you know they, they have faith that i have their best intentions in mind yeah I, i've always I've been humbled by dealing with any aspect of any musicians, um, what they submit, what the, what their career is all about, everything they, they offer up to us as fans, just not me in, in any kind of professional capacity, but just us as fans, I've always been humbled by it because it's such a gift. Oh, it's yeah. such an unbelievable gift. And they don't even know who it's to initially. They just can't help but pour their heart out. And now oh, yeah. it's here in front of you and... You know, don't fuck it up. Don't don't shit on it. Yeah. You know, like give them their roses, pay them their respects. You know. Yeah. I, I've all. I'll never. I don't think I'll ever lose interest in that. It's one of those things. You know, you either have it or you don't. It's not. You know, you hear a lot of people say, "Oh man, these bands. You know, they make it to the big time and they forget where they came from." Well, not all of them. That's not true. You know, I, I, you know, I've had the uh, the pleasure to meet. Um, for example, I got to meet Vinnie Paul one night. Uh, mm-hmm. Hell yeah, I played at the Varsity. Uh, in Baton Rouge, and, uh, you know, hell yeah, I got to meet Vinnie Paul, that was crazy, and um, it's one of those moments that uh, always sticks out to me, you know, it's it's not like the Pele Royale situation at Warped Tour, where they're up and coming, you know, you, you kind of have to be extra nice when you're up and coming, you Sure. Know? <laughs> Vinnie Paul's been there, he's been there for 20 years, yeah. you know, he's not up and coming anymore. But uh, I'll never forget, you know, they finished their set and uh, he came out, just came hang out at the bar, hang out at the merch table. And uh, it was the coolest thing to watch him. Like it was cool to meet him, but it was cooler to watch him meet other people. Uh-huh. So you do the same thing with every person. You know, you got to think there's, there's like 300 people in there. Everyone wants to talk to Vinny, but knowing that you know there's i got a mob of people around me you know they all want my attention he'd go he'd shake your hand tight handshake 
look you in the eye and talk to you for about two, three minutes. You know, nothing, nothing big, just casual conversation. Sure. But in those two, three minutes, he kept eye contact with you and you just, you got that feeling like it was just, it was kind of like how we are here. It's just the two of us yeah. sitting across from each other talking. There was no one else around. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was such a cool thing to, you know, I'll, I'll never forget it. And then after, you know, I, you know, still looking at him, watch, he'd do that for every single person. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things. It's like, man, he didn't lose it, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of musicians out there. I think, you know, the, the assholes get, you know, it's like the the, the, uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. You know, all the assholes get the attention. Like, oh, man, this one singer, you know, you know, spit on this fan of this show. Or whatever. <laughs> Well, they're not going to talk about, you know, maybe the, their bassist is probably the most, you know, humble person and gave him a towel or something. Right. All the nice people, you know, the nice people don't get all the credit or anything. It's just the jerks, you know. You yeah. don't forget about the jerks. The public devours the drama, you know. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Tell everybody where they can reach you in case they want to give you some submissions. Oh, man, I'm very easy to reach. Uh, you can go to www.fuelthefuneralentertainment.com. There is a contact form on there where you can submit your band. comes directly to my personal email. I'll look it over. There is all of our services of what we offer on there. You can reach out, get a quote. There's our artist rosters, everything on there. You can reach out to our Facebook or our Instagram. You know, send us a message. You know, I'm, I'm active on those things. I look at them and I try not to let any time roll by before I get. It might take a day or two before I can get back to you, but... I try and get back to every single person that reaches out. Um, we're, we're pretty easy to get a hold of, you know. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, all the social sites and everything. Uh, if you reach out and send us a message, we check those. We check those, you know. I get the order on my phone. I look at it the minute I see it coming up, and the second I get some free time, yeah. I'll try and get back to you. Yeah, that's good, man. All right, man. I really appreciate you coming, dude. Thanks. Absolutely, man. man. It was a pleasure. Cool.